I have gone from obesity and I have done calorie restriction down to like 800 calories and tried to work out. It's not good for your body, it's not healthy. Um, a lot of people will tell you, you know, 1200 calories, 1400 calories, 1600 calories, but um, if you've ever been on one of those diets, even eating 12 or 1600 calories, you can still feel hungry. Like, I can't even count how many times I would go to bed hungry thinking, well, I can't have anything else. I've had my calories for the day, right? Through eating plant-based, I've learned that I can basically eat until I'm full, stop eating, and be satisfied. Let's talk about food. Uh, I took <clears throat> um, some of my recipes and I put them in the packet there. I tried to think of stuff that was quick, easy, and that wouldn't be overwhelming because I, I can make some pretty fancy vegan foods. But these are just really simple, clean, delicious foods. Did you get a packet? No, I didn't get one. I just put a couple recipes in there. Now, I do Yay. have an Instagram, and it's plant-based cheapskate. You can go on my Instagram, and any of those recipes that you see, I post food all the time. Just drop me a comment on there, and I'll give you the recipe, okay? So, um, let's see here. A lot of people will say, well, Jen, if you don't eat meat, dairy, and eggs, what do you eat? And to me, it's like, seriously? It's not a lifestyle of restriction. It's abundance. Like, I, there's an abundance of plant foods that are available um, to eat. And by eating whole foods, um, you don't have to restrict. You can feel full and satisfied. Um, by replacing the calorie-dense, nutritionally void, fat-laden food with plant foods that are low-calorie, low-fat, and high-nutrient, um, you can eat when hungry, stop when full, um, no more restricting and feeling hungry. Um, I did a comparison of a standard American diet and something along the lines of what I would eat. And actually, the breakfast that I'm going to compare here is in the, in the uh, recipes. It's the tofu scramble. Um, for a two egg, two bacon, and two slices of toast with butter, you're looking at 460 calories, 246 coming from fat, 20.5 grams of fat, saturated fat at 7.5, uh, cholesterol 445 milligrams, okay, and protein 20 grams. Now if we look at a tofu scramble, which is like really satisfying, um, it's 245 calories, 65 of those from fat, 4 grams of total fat, um, 0.5 saturated fat, zero cholesterol, there's no cholesterol in plant food by the way and then 19 grams of protein. So almost the same protein and higher nutrient. And look at how much, you could have two of those for, you know. So that's, that's awesome. And I did look up the daily recommended um, allowances for some of those nutrients. And this is on the USDA.gov. Uh, total fat grams recommended for a day between 20 and 35. So if you have a standard American diet, you're there. And then, um, Saturated fat and cholesterol, and this is as per the USDA, it doesn't have a recommended allowance. It just says, and I quote, as low as possible while consuming nutritionally adequate diet. And then the protein recommended for men is 56 and for women is 46. So again, with that breakfast that I would have, a tofu scramble, I'm halfway there already on my protein. A lot of people ask, <laughs> do you get enough protein if you only eat plants? So. Yes, there's tons of protein in plants and you will be fine. If anyone wants to look at the nutritional information for the two breakfasts, I've got that available. I'm not making it up, it's real labels. <laughs> um, documentary that's on the front there, Forks Over Knives. Um, that was a life changer for me and even for my meat-eating husband who was like, for the first like year I was doing this, he was like, not having it, you know? And he watched that and now he's doing it, so. Albert Einstein, he wrote, nothing will benefit health and increase the chances for survival on the earth, um, and increase the chances for survival on earth as the evolution to a vegetarian diet. This is Albert Einstein. So again, here's somebody else from advertising. I mean, you can't sit down for an hour of television without seeing 10 junk food commercials and 10 medication commercials. That's basically all there is. There's junk food commercials and medicine commercials. And why is that? <laughs> because they go hand in hand. You know, there's not a lot of commercials saying, you know, eat, eat veggies, you know, eat plants. <laughs> you'll get, you'll get better if you just eat plants. <laughs> so, um, in the packet there, I also put a couple of other just useful things. 
A lot of people ask about iron. Where do you get your iron? So I put a little thing on there to show you guys foods that are high, rich in iron. And then just some vitamin and mineral information. Um, and then again, I wanted to reiterate the protein. We get enough protein, so I put that on there. Um, so yeah, if, if you have any questions, just you know, feel free to ask. And I hope you uh, take a chance to watch that documentary and maybe it might change your life too. Just to touch on what you were saying about disease and all that is, is what's incredible about the plant-based diet too is not only can it reverse the diseases, but if we adopt it now, it can prevent it. And that's that's what's important, you know, if you want to look at the China study. But basically, forks over knife is like the easy to understand version, which is kind of what I needed. The dummy version. The dummy, the dummy version. version. But thank you for your time today. I know yeah. I spent extra time on, on letting her speak. And thank you. Thank you for staying and listening. Um, again. I am not, I'm not um, saying you have to do no, this. No, no. It's something that I think is amazing. I think she's an amazing woman. Like I said, she's, a, she's an ex-client of mine. I used to train her. Great. She's wonderful, got a wealth of knowledge. And her, I, I mean, like seriously, I like stalk and troll everything she does on Facebook. So I was like, <laughs> will you come and do a segment for us, please? Yeah, my, my Instagram. And when she said yes, I was geeking out. I was like, sweet. And I was geeking out too. This is my first time ever speaking to people. So. Other than through the through the lens, yeah, I it's easy to lens all the time. Lens but talk. Um, yeah, my Instagram is way more impressive than my Facebook. I'm just I'm still <laughs> trying to get a hang of the Facebook thing, like the liking and the sharing and the. I'm getting there. Remember now that weight loss and and maintaining your body is only 20% exercise and 80% your diet. Yeah, I can't. I can only do so much here. Yeah, I, and you know, Lottie came to me, you know, a long time ago. Lottie used to be a different size. So did I. You know, we all were whenever we once were. So, you know, we we do these things. We change our lives. You can re you can reshape your body. You can reshape yourself. You don't have to stay where you're at. If you want to, then there's nothing I can do to help you. But I can force you to work out. I can force you to do all this stuff here. And then when you go home and you go let the big girl out, as I call it, and let her play, you know, she's, um, she's going to sabotage everything yep. you did here with me everything she's gonna let it go and she does sabotage me I don't let her do it as much anymore she t she sabotages my cancer habits oh no and I have to be okay with the, I have to be okay with the fact that you know she's got to play sometime I gotta right. let her out man she's gotta come out yeah but I gotta put her back away for a while yeah my, mine does that too like like I, <laughs> January I quit smoking after 20 years okay so 20 years I was a smoker and, and it was funny because I was taking her Zumba class last summer and I would be driving a Zumba and I'd be drinking a green smoothie and I'd be smoking a cigarette. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what the heck am I doing? I'm driving to Zumba, drinking a green smoothie and smoking. Like this is ridiculous, you know? So this January I quit after 20 years of smoking. So my, my big girl has been sabotaging me a lot. Don't let your big girl put those things in your mouth. Every time you lift something in your mouth, look at it and say, are you gonna build me up or are you gonna tear me down? Cause yeah. you know, I'm back on track now though, so. Yeah. I gotta, awesome. I gotta get. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna take a photo real quick before we leave. Cause oh. this is a big moment. So It I is. There's something going on with you in your lives and you're here today working out with me and you chose me as your trainer, not on chance. And I believe that truly because I'm a Christian. Right. I know that God sends people in my life for a reason. You need to hear what I have to say, whether it be the message about Jesus Christ or the message about saving your own saggy skin.